you know, those Cubans that came over in 79, it was, uh, it was, you know, I, somebody's got to do a documentary of the jail they let them out of. <laughs> like, yes. you know what I'm saying? Like, just walk through I that see. jail. They weren't American jails. They didn't feed you on time. There's no feeding at seven. They would come in and throw a fucking piece of bread at your dog. Or they would throw, like, a it's sandwich a into a cell with four of us. You know, and no showers. Because those are the dirty. Hard, hardcore criminals from yeah, Cuba, right? Yeah, the Mar yeah, Mariana yeah, yeah. Boat Project or something So like it that? was really weird. I saw the transformation. I saw it right in front. You know, I, it's so weird how I was doing mescaline one day and having a great time with 20 kids mescaline. my age. And all of a sudden, nobody's doing mescaline anymore. You know, it went from you needed five dollars to get high. You needed two fifty for a hit of mescaline, and two fifty we could chip in for a six pack. You needed three, four beers and a hit of mescaline. Somebody had a joint. You were good to go, Rodrigo. And all of a sudden, it went from that to people having to spend fifty dollars. You know, there was no sample of cocaine. If you really think the impact that this had on the economy here, you really have to think about nineteen seventy eight, seventy seven. I saw it. I saw people talking. It was spoken in my house since I was a kid. But I was starting to see it more now. I was starting to see it. I knew my mom had white rings around her nose. I knew what time it was. I wasn't retarded. But now I was hearing people talking about it. It was in the clubs. The kids older than me were coming back going, no, no, my team up at equal. Now I was in shock. Like I just thought my mom and her friends did it. Do you follow me? So now I had to sit there with my tongue tied. I could, you ever done it? No, I don't even know what you're talking about. How old were you? 13. Damn. So 13, it's 1976, and it was already creeping. 77, staying alive, quaaludes and cocaine. 78, 79 was the first time I had some. And it was in a drawer, and it sat in that fucking drawer for months. And then I went to a party one day and decided to take it. I knew I was gonna, I was going to sell it, but I said fuck it and I did it. And I didn't, you know, the first year I did blow, it didn't get me off. I thought people were lying to me, like Saturday Night Live. You know, for years people told me it was so funny. I'd go home and I wouldn't laugh. Me with flowers. And a bunch of people were <laughs> laughing, and I wouldn't laugh with coke. I would do coke with people. And I'd see them getting all twisted and hiding and shit, and nothing <laughs> was happening to me until one day I had a cocktail. Uh oh. See, I didn't drink. One day I had a beer and I'm like, oh, so that shit clicked. my jaw is clicking, my fingers are getting like I'm a piano player and shit. <laughs> this party's on and shit. You were like Jeff Dunham with no puppets. And then they dropped Scarface on these kids. Yeah, man. It was like taking a generation to Vietnam. You had to see it. Like I, I fucking saw it. Like I saw kids that were decent kids and I'd see them in a bar at four in the morning like fucking Lucifer. And I would go, oh, shit. And then they weren't smoking crack yet. There was no crack yet. Like, I was still 83, 84. Everybody had it. In 83, if you bumped into the manager, she'd pull you aside and go, listen, a friend of mine uh, left me a kilo. Do you know anybody who could sell it? He said we could make a lot of money. You were bumping into people like that. Like your neighbor would come over and go, dog, do you know anything about cocaine? It like, was everywhere. It was everywhere. Everybody had it. 1,800 an ounce. 100 a gram or don't even talk to me. 60 a half a gram. How good was it? It was right off the fucking shipment. They were fucking piling it in here. It was glass. It was fucking glass. First time I went to Miami in 84, nobody jawed. You didn't stay up. You didn't stay up. Your eyes got red. Like those red veins were in your eyes. You got all red and shit. And you get high and your dick got hard. And you had a good fucking time. And you were loose. Last night had a And year. then over the years when you started getting, they, they, they started doing something to it. Putting speed in it or rat poison. Aspirin. And that's. And then Strictly in 84, 85, people were smoking it in cigarettes in clubs. I went to Coca the city Plus. in 85. I was not doing drugs at this time. And people were already, the Colombians, they would go, that's a Colombian table. And you could smell the coke in the air. And they were putting it in fucking cigarettes. And then I went over to the city to get weed one day. Manager, I've been going to the spot since I was fucking 13, 14. It was 148th and Broadway. Were you sure of these weed stores today? Yeah. <laughs> we, we. Listen, I was a cop there from fucking 77 to 84 and a half. And then I just started copping in Jersey, or we would cop on 178th Street. But if I was on 140th and I was in the neighborhood, I'd go there. It was called the Master Mix. 
the guy was right on the stoop. Stoop. He was on the stoop. A little pigeon. And when he went up there, and he had green weed that you never saw then. Nobody had green weed. Damn. It was all the weed from Jamaica up in Harlem. The master mixed. It was the Buddha tie, the chocolate tie. Everybody Tasty. had chocolate tie. He had green weed, and then he put it together, and that was called the master mix. <laughs> and guess what he uh. gave you? A fucking punch card. In 19 fucking 80, homie was already giving you a punch card. What did it say on it? If you bought 10 nickel bags, you got one for It was $10 bags. If you bought 10 $10 bags, uh, you got one so for free. I stole his idea. Who the fuck you think you're dealing with? This is on the street. No license. No nothing. I went there and they go, weed. We don't sell weed no more. This is crack. Crack. It was gone. And it gone, was, The man. little vials were all over the street. And I had never seen that before.